My name is D. Uh, this is the client handbook uh, for Ability Works Incorporated in Jackson. All right, we're going to go over the handbook so you guys understand what you're supposed to be doing here. All right, staff qualifications. All Ability Works Incorporated staff members meet either the drive requirements of the Mississippi State Personnel Board or Ability Works Incorporated and the Mississippi Department of Rehab Services Human Resource Department. Staff members receive training in the following areas. Uh, working with individuals with disabilities, cultural diversity, sexual harassment, man managing individuals with violent and aggressive behaviors, uh, CPR, first aid, blood-borne pathogens or infectious diseases, fire suppression, defensive driving, and proper lifting techniques and mental health training. Do you want to know from the book? Okay. It's going to be hard for them to Okay. All right. The staff at Ability Works, uh, facility manager is uh, Janice Berry. Uh, of course, the evaluators, Miss Naomi Smith and Miss Sanitha Galloway, uh, right over there. Uh, on the page, you will see their phone numbers. You uh, need to remember these phone numbers just in case you're not here, you're not able to make it to work. Mm. You're not able to make it to work, go ahead and give her or Miss Smith a call. Okay. Okay. Um, you said Miss Naomi. Last name Smith. Who is that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. The goal of Ability Works. This is a transitional program designed to provide services that can lead to permanent outside employment for persons with disabilities. We begin by trying to find out uh, the person's interests, their aptitudes, and abilities and identifying services needed for a person's successful employment. We call this vocational evaluation. Uh, that's the part that you're in right now. Uh, you will be assigned to a workstation in the production area for a period of work observation in areas such as work tolerance, ability to work in a group, ability to concentrate, follow directions, uh, accept supervision, and other. All right. After evaluation, you may benefit from our job readiness training program. During this period, attention is given to problems identified during evaluation to increase your job readiness and improve your work habits. The criterion for entering job readiness is successful completion of your evaluation program. Right, when you have completed your evaluation and job readiness programs, uh, and if your v VR counselor has referred you for placement services, you will be enrolled in our job placement program. In this program, you receive assistance and instructions in the areas important for you to get and keep a job. All right, this includes learning how to do a resume, uh, completion of applications for employment, uh, searching for a job, and doing interviews and actual referrals to employees if necessary. Right, each person's program is individually developed with the person and time frame very dependent on the individual's need. Okay. All right. The services that we provide here, uh, vocational evaluation, uh, counseling and guidance, job readiness training, skill training, work experience, job placement assistant, and follow-up services. All right. Who cannot be served? All right. You need to pay attention to this. Persons who present a danger to themselves and others. Persons who are not capable of medical management of their disability. Persons who cannot take care of their own personal needs. And persons who do not comply with the facility rules and regulations. All right. All right, payment practices. All right, payment practices. Um, as part of your program, you perform real work on subcontractors, subcontracts provided by local industries. Right, your pay will be based on productivity calculated on the prevailing wage uh, paid by local industry for similar types of work. So the more production that you do out there in the warehouse, the more you get paid. So this... It affects your payment. Okay. Okay. 
right, general rules. All right, daily attendance, Monday through Friday. Now, if you cannot be present, you need to call the number that's in the packet. That's 601-898-7076. Before nine o'clock, mm -hmm. you have to provide a reason why you're going to be at. Um, I can call at eight. Yeah, yes, as long as it's before nine o'clock, and you got to provide a reason why you're absent. All right, a statement from your doctor is required for the absence in excess of three days due to sickness. Okay, I understand. Okay. All right, the daily schedule, right, 8 to 5 is your work hours. You get a lunch break in the morning from 10 to 10.15. All right, from 12 to 1, you get your lunch break. And your afternoon break is 3 to 3.10. Um, I thought uh, lunch was 30 minutes. Is it only 30 minutes? It's an hour. It depends. It, yeah. Okay. All right, clients are to punch their own time cards. All right, clients are expected to be back at their workstations at the sound of the buzzer, indicating that break is open. All right, clients will not be paid when absent from work. Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, change will, will be provided at the 10, 10 a.m. break and lunch. Uh, change is not provided for anything over $5. Okay, all right, eating and drinking are allowed only in the break areas during break periods. Use of tobacco products is not permitted inside of the facility. Uh, there's a space out back uh, during break that you can smoke if you want to. Oh, no, I never smoke. <laughs> never. All right, no radios will be allowed in the work areas. All right, personal phone calls are not allowed. You must consult with your vocational evaluator to use the telephone. All right, cleanliness, cleanliness is a must. Clients are to bathe and wear clean clothes each day they report to the facility. Yeah, I know. Okay? <laughs> All, right. All right. Clients should wear clothing appropriate for a work setting. Okay. All right. Shirts must be tucked in, no sagging, none of that. Nothing that uh, promotes anything negative, like drugs, sex, uh, any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. You can't do it. What? Because I have this on there? Tell so me he can't wear this because of this. You mm -hmm. can work with that on. Mm -hmm. Because it has a couple of spots. Yeah. Okay. You need to pay attention to this. I'm just picking what I'm saying. No horseplay or abusive language is allowed in the facility or in facility vehicle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, clients should not leave their assigned workstations without staff approval. You need to see your instructor in this event. Mm. Okay. Do not operate machines unless instructed. And you need to report to your instructor immediately upon the completion of your assigned task to get your next, next assignment. All right. Pay periods begin on Wednesday and end on Tuesday, two weeks later. Our payday is every other Friday, and checks are dispersed at the end of the workday with no exceptions. Right. If you are absent on payday, you can pick up your check uh, between 3 and 5 o'clock. Right. Cell phones must be off or on silent when on the work floor.
Yeah, I'm cut mine's off. All right. No selling of any item from or to client or employee on the property. All right, no client will be allowed to sit in his or her vehicle during break or lunchtime. Yeah, I know. All right. All right, disciplinary action. If you are given a warning for not following these and any other facility rules and no improvement is observed, Disciplinary measures will be taken. The following actions will be taken when the rules and regulations are not followed. For the first offense, get counseling and guidance. All right. Second offense, be a timeout, not to exceed a 30 minute period. All right. Third offense is suspension, not to exceed three days. All right. You will be dismissed. Um, that's mm. without pay, right? When you're suspended without pay? Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So that means you better be good. Mm -hmm. All right. You may be dismissed from the facility if the following rules are not obeyed. All right. No weapons, alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, or sexual harassment will be tolerated. All right. Obey all instructions and safety rules and operate machinery exactly as instructed by staff. I mean, they tell you to use safety glasses, earplugs, uh, et cetera. You need to do it. Right, no violence or threat of violence directed at the staff or other clients will be tolerated. Right. No falsification of production information in any way. That goes back to that productivity for their uh, wages. Theft or damage to the property of others. All right. If you ride the van to ability to work, you must ride the van home and not with someone else unless permission has been granted. No client upon arriving here under any circumstances may be permitted to leave this property walking. All right. Policy regarding human rights. It is the intent of Ability Works Jackson to relate to each individual served in a manner that will preserve the dignity and personal safety of those served. Department of Rehab Services provides all services on a non-discriminatory basis. No individual or group of individuals is excluded from MDRS services or found ineligible for services on the basis of sex, age, race, creed, color, religion, national origin, or disability. Got friends benefits. Uh, Ability to work Incorporated Jackson provides workers' compensation coverage to all clients enrolled in the facility program. A dinner is given to for the clients at Thanksgiving and the Fourth of July. All right. Okay. Grievance and appeals procedure for general complaints on policies, procedures, and physical facility. All right, number one, suggestion or complaint is to be placed in the suggestion box. Right. Number two, the Human Rights Committee meets quarterly to review complaints. The Human Rights Committee is made up of one evaluator, one instructor, and three clients. 